I see one goal, maybe two max in this with both of our defences. I, I, I don't think you're going to score more than one goal. Like, your defence has got, what, seven conceded? We've got six conceded. Yeah. Yeah, but I think, like, yes, you've won your last three games in all comps, but the last two in the league, you've got six goals. That's, like, over 50% of your goals this season in the league. Yeah, and four, four of your 11 goals came in the last game. Yeah, so I don't see you scoring more than one. Yeah, but we've only scored, what, 16? You know, four of them were against Bournemouth. So, I don't know. I, I, I think we'll win quite comfortably. The deflections and penalties stat as well. I didn't deep that, but that might be a factor too. If we score early, yeah, I think, you, I think you'll capitulate. I can't lie. I think you'll capitulate. It'll be, oh, here we go again. The fans will get on them. Like, the atmosphere will change. If we score in the first 15 minutes, yeah. It'll be like last season. Because I keep saying last season we should have beaten you guys, but that dickhead Havertz couldn't find the Bamiyang twice in 15 minutes. But we did our job defensively. I keep saying, like, defensively, we kept you lot quiet at the bridge until the goal. Then we had to open up a little bit. We had to try and chase the game. You guys started making way more chances. Should have got a second at that point. This game, as easy as it is to say, it sounds like such a Michael Owen quote. I think his first goal wins. Whoever scores first, they're taking the three points. They're probably going to sit back and try to control the game. And I think they're just going to be very difficult to break down. It's just you guys will probably have the majority of possession before that point. It's not going to be like you guys being more pragmatic at the city, as the City game. I think we're going to be the ones that sit back, try and give you guys a bit of possession. That's the way Poch likes to play as well. And we need to hit you on transition. It's just like you said, will we bury our chances? I don't know about that one, but... Who, who have you got to play with that from? Like, did, did, did Sterling get in the England squad? Did he play it? Um, I, I don't follow the international football, but no, let same. me have a quick look. Let me have a quick because Cole Palmer will probably start on the right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, like I said, he only had a dead leg, so I'd imagine he'd start. Jackson would probably go up front. Oh, no, Sterling didn't get called up, did he? Yeah, he didn't get called up. Oh, there you go. So you're probably, but then Mudrick scored a couple yesterday, I think. So yeah, then do you yeah, go with Mudrick game. Sterling up front or Sterling on the right and then Mudrick on the left? I think mm. we'll still be Sterling on the left. Just yeah, because just the Burnley so. game and because the experience factor, I think he's going to end up going into the squad. He does all right against us as well, normally. He plays I'd ideally well. like it to be Sterling, Palmer and Mudrick, but Gallagher's going to go back into the team. And to be honest... If we're not going to dominate possession, we probably would be better off with keeping Gallagher on because he's got a bit better defensively. He can do the dog work off the ball and break up play. And I actually think that would work out well for us. So I think why, we're why might be not playing him at there. number eight instead of number 10. Because you've been playing Enzo at 10, right? Yeah, that was one of the things I was on to Poch about. It was like 250 million we spend on a pivot not to play them together. Yeah, like, what, what's the point of that? Now we've put them together. They look a lot better. Gallagher looks a little bit better in the 10 role as well. Keep the free going if you want to keep it going. I think when you're playing a bit more defensively minded, that's the perfect um, free to go with. Just makes a little bit of a problem in terms of the attacking midfielders. But I guess it's good to have those sorts of headaches. I don't think Gallagher will have a bad game. I think he quietly will have a good performance in this match. He might if, we, if we go with Bryce Party Odegaard. Saka Martinelli Jesus. Yeah, I, I think we'll deal with you comfy, man. I can't lie. Yeah, I think that, like... that would be both teams at their best. I'm mm. just hoping and praying he thinks, let me play Havertz because he'll be up for it. Going back to his old ground and everything. Bro, if he scores the winning goal, oh my days, I'm, I'll be in the mud. <laughs> You'll be in the mud. I don't think I'll be able to stream for a week. I'm gonna be, I'll be getting cooked left, right and centre. Like, yeah, I can't have that. But I'm, already, I'm also not that concerned about it because it's fucking Havertz. That guy has single-handedly stopped me from getting hyped for one-on-one -on -one chances. Mm, Although with my luck, probably would fucking score. And then, yeah, we're, we're both fucking mudded. Yep. But at the very, very least, good. I guess that means we would stay at, we, would, we might get a little bit more game time. The, the, the thing is, like I said, if we score early, yeah, I think that's... And it's a night game as well, 5.30. There, there's always iffy results after an international break. Yeah, mm. but and I think Man United play. Who are they playing? Sheffield United away. They're playing even later than us. They're after we finish. So that's potential banana skin away. But if we score first, yeah, I think we'll tear you apart. Yeah, because then we can just sit back. Yeah, you're then your crowd's going to be on it. Yeah, three years in a row we've beaten you there, and you're going to have to go for it at some point. And I think that's when we just pick you off. Yeah, and then we've got Trossard maybe to come off the bench, although he's been poor the last two games, really poor. Yeah, and then 
I don't know, man. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. If Party, Rice, and Odegaard start, I'll be a lot more confident than if Havertz is in that team. But oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I just I don't know what Arteta is going to do with that one because that's been your best midfield, but you guys barely play it. Which I mean must be very frustrating from an Arsenal perspective. But let's hope that let's hope that continues because. I also can't lie. I'm looking forward to booing the fuck out of him for 90 minutes. Ben says, imagine the scenes of Mudrick scores. Bro, I'd do sick things for a Mudrick goal the way the Arsenal fans have been like <laughs> him all year. They've been posting pictures of him at McDonald's. All sorts of weird shit with Mudrick. It's like, I get it. Chelsea fans can be obsessive with ex-players too. I don't mind it to a point, but Mudrick ain't your ex-player. He just went to Chelsea because we paid more money. Mm. That's, a, that's literally it. Hate yep. him because he's a Chelsea player, but like that's a that's it. That's it. DK says Mudrick winner and shushing Farteta in the moment. That would be insane as well, but he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Our best bet was if Obba scored. But you can thank that closet Guna that we had last season for why we never got to see that. Imagine three years of Havertz and three years of Arsenal winning at the bridge. Imagine my yep. shock. Right. We have we hadn't beaten Man City um until the other week. Yeah, and the last time we beat a Man City, Granite Xhaka didn't play for the club. We get rid of Granite Xhaka, lost all them games in a row, 12 in a row, get rid of him, and now we beat him again. Uh, so I imagine crazy. Hack playing certain teams, certain men can't. Hmm? Bro, I, I remember seeing us get pan 5 0 by Man City and Xhaka flying into flying into Rodri, I think it was, straight red. I and think we were two or three down. Right? Yeah, and he thought, yeah, sod this. I'll just get sent off. I ain't having this today. <laughs> I ain't being part of the embarrassment. I'll just get sent off. Crazy. And I think that was the game after you'd beat. I think we were bottom of the league. Three out of three. Lost to Brentford, lost to you. Lukaku scored twice. First two mm -hmm. goals for Chelsea in the league. That was and, the last uh, time he beat you. Yeah, it was, yeah. One one win in seven, I think Matisse told me a few days ago. Our recent record against you is hideous. We, we have to turn it around. That's why, like, going into the game, I need a win. I'm not going into this game thinking, like, I'll take a draw. That'll be nice. I'll take it coming out of the game. If we played the 90 minutes, we've drawn and we've made a decent account of ourselves against a team that should be contending for the title, I guess there will be positives to take from it. But as of now, no, no, no. End this shit losing run because this can't keep going on. The whole top six record is only going to get bigger and bigger and it's going to become more of a talking point the longer we let it go. The same thing with this Arsenal streak. End it early. It's another step forward. And, and it's a, it makes a statement. If you beat us, you've then beaten a the top 16. Yeah, for what, two years? Nearly two years? So yep. it's a big statement because like, at the moment you're beating Fulham's and Burnley's and that, which is great, cool. You have to beat them as well. But now you have to step up. You have to go and beat a top team. Also, just being a title contender, I think would say a lot with us. Because that's where we want to be. So if we can do that in a full, in a full 90, that's a positive step in the right direction. Just that... <clears throat> can't overhype it too much, but it's important to us, especially with the games we have coming up. If we go into the next run of games, which is Brentford at home, Tottenham away, Man City at home, Newcastle away, Brighton at home, and Man United away. If we go into that and we start off with a loss at Arsenal, we're going right back to step one, where we were a month ago, with no one having any faith, no one having any confidence. This match is massive for our confidence levels going into the next few games. If we can produce a good performance, and that's where I'll be like, there's positives to take if we end up coming out of a draw. I'll be like, okay, cool. Brentford at home next. I think we can do something against them. You go and you get a result against Brentford, Tottenham away, could do something in that game too. Man City, I'll be real, just pray. Just pray. It is what it is. <laughs> Whatever happens in that game, it's fine. I have more confidence for the rest of the matches. And that's what we need as a base because it... I saw Chelsea or Stamford Bridge go from confident, gassed, hyped for the season to an even worse level of depression than last season in record time. It took like two, three games for everyone to be like, oh, it's another fucking match day. Can't be bothered. We're going to play two forwards at home against Nottingham Forest now. Can't be bothered. A good performance, a good result in a big game. That'll be the first step forward for Poch. But just before we wrap up, I want to get a little score prediction from you quickly. 3-1, Arsenal. 3-1? <clears throat> yeah, 3-1. I didn't expect you to say three goals. Fuck. Yeah, I, th I think like we haven't been great in terms of output this season. But I think that you lot are going to... Yes, we both need a win. 
for different reasons, but it's going to be a bit cagey. But I think, I think three one. But I could see a scenario like uh, Eden Osman says in the chat. I could also see a four one. Yeah, because I think if we if we went, let's say we went two 0 up against you, you get one back. You're then going to go for it. Yeah, you're going to go right. We got one back. The momentum swung. All we got to do is be smart with it and just ping you on the break. Yeah, so. I'll go so with you're expecting right an early goal then. <clears throat> I want a goal in the first 15 minutes. Yeah, I want Odegaard oh. to step up in a big away game. Yeah, which is that's the only way I could really see that. Yeah, we need we need a goal in the first 15. Yeah, get the crowd shut up straight away. Yeah, get them all moody and on their case. Yeah, and then just play our game. But what I've noticed with Arsenal as well is we go one nil up and we sit back. Yeah, that's all well and good, but I don't want us to sit back. Yeah, be be more composed with it. Go forward and pick your moments. So if you go, if you go one, if we go one nil up early, cool. Let's just not go gung ho and hundred mile an hour. Just be more cool with it. And if we play party, Rice, Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli, and Jesus, I think that's comfortable. Three one. Three one. God willing, you're not correct on that one. I'm just gonna oh, say. I said we're back Spurs as well. <laughs> that didn't quite work out. <laughs> what do you say for the Tottenham think... game? I actually put a bet. I don't gamble. My mate said to me, the odds on 5-2. Yeah, because I thought, let's roll it back to the 5-2 days. Yeah, the <laughs> odds on 5-2 were uh, 60 to 1, so I put 10 euro on it. That didn't quite work out. So, but yeah, I'm going to nah, say 10 euro, not too deep. Not too deep. Mm. I'm going to say 1-0 Chelsea. I think we'll, we'll frustrate Arsenal for long periods of the game and it'll come down to a moment. I don't know if it'll be an open play or if it'll be like a De Sassi header, which I just keep saying every week because he just seems to be very good in the air like that. But I keep saying I see one goal in it and I'm going to stick with that. I think it'll be 1-0 Chelsea. People might say a little bit it'll be a bit jammy. I'm going to say it'll be a little bit resilient from Chelsea. But let's hope we get a result because I, I cannot be asked with losing four in a row to Arsenal and having to deal with all of those gooners in my mentions for the next week after that. <laughs> I can't be bothered for it. And also, any whoever clamps Havertz first, I'm buying your shirt. So any Chelsea player watching, keep that in mind. But 